Hey there, everybody! Welcome to Paladin View Farms. We're back to the old uh, orange farm today. Uh, we're gonna finish up seeding some corn. Uh, start on first cutting the hay, and possibly also look at uh, look at Aunt Betty's farm. So we'll see how uh, what we all get into today, and go from there. So first we need to run out and get the 185 going. So we'll find the... There it is. Come out of sidekick. Hey there, Logan. Hi there, Levi. How we doing? We're going to run out and get the 185s on the corn planter. We'll get it going. For some reason it always seems like it's a little laggy here around the woods. A little bumpy on that trail too. Maybe shouldn't be going 30. So we got our oats here growing. They're looking pretty nice. We ended up getting this hay field all mowed down. Uh, last episode uh, we played on here so probably going to head it out maybe and that way we can feed some hay to uh, some of the cows we're gonna maybe move around today that path is bumpy we'll head back here and get the uh, planter going he's got a lot here yet to plant hey there Waylon how are you glad to see you I'm doing pretty good Been kind of away a couple of days from the PC, so kind of just getting back into things. But looks like our hired hand knocked a step there, but that's all right. I guess we'll go ahead. We can make first pass here and get to where this is a little more square for him. Uh, are you talking about oh with the wind out the windows, Logan? Uh, yeah, I've seen them before. That'd probably be more something I'd put in the uh, open station one compared to the cab tractor, in my opinion. Hope you're all having a pretty good weekend so far. Hopefully I sound alright. I don't know if my... I tried to adjust some settings in my mic to a little bit more advanced setting. Hopefully maybe it'll stop the popping, maybe sound better, but I'm not sure if it will or not. And we missed some. That's usually why I don't drive because I can't ever keep it straight. But we'll pick that up quick and continue on. Yeah, Logan, if I was going to, instead of I was going to put them on something, I'd probably put them on the open station when I get around to that. And I can't keep, I thought this planter would keep right over there, but it's having issues today. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty much finished. I think I need to check, oh, I need to, um, Planting fine, yeah. I'd be able to plant that hopefully. Yeah. Um. I 
It's pretty. I just need to get a new pitcher for this. Oh, this might actually be the old version. No, this is the new version. Um. So yeah, it's pretty much done. Now all the color change with the years, the decals. Um. And let's see. I think everything else is pretty much done. Yeah, I think all I need to do is get this picture updated for the loader that I made for it. And then uh, I think I got to get the exhaust working for the straight exhaust, which isn't really nothing. And it should be ready to go. So, yeah, it should take too long. Had some help from Scooter's workbench. He's helped me out a lot trying to finish it up. I started kind of working on other projects. But it's it's pretty well done. I know I keep saying that, but I mean, it's pretty much the way it's going to be. It's pretty much done. Gauges all work. doesn't work yet but uh, someday I may work on that a little bit more so we'll let this guy go we'll hop back in the Kubota uh, let's see what do we want to do I'm wondering I want to head down and maybe get looking at putting some cattle in at another farm But I know I need to also get the hay tedded over there so we can get that bailed. We really ought to check on our animals, make sure they're okay. Save your game often, I can tell you that. Uh, looks like we're doing fine with our pigs Oop. and our cattle. So we'll head back up to the house. I think what we'll do is we'll get the little Alice 17 going on the tether. Which I don't think I have one yet, but we can get one. And then maybe we'll head on over to the other new farm. to get ourselves a tether. I don't believe I have one. Do I? No. So make sure we're set there. Uh, we'll go with the winged one. And I think we have, yeah, like I said, we'll just put that on our D17 as long as it all works out real nice. Oh yeah, this tractor doesn't have any sound. I really want to use this thing. We could put this on the WD, I guess. Hey there, Mr. Simulation. How are ya? We're just back here on the orange farm doing a little farming. I haven't really used this thing, I guess. Let's get it out and do a little hay tedding with it. Ten mile an hour, top speed. Looks like it. Yeah, it's been a while, a little while since you've been on this farm. But she's been quite a while, I guess. I need to smooth this path out. It is so rough. Hey, I'm down for that. I don't know uh, what map you want to play on or what you'd want to do, but I'd be more than happy to do something like that. I actually talked to somebody once about doing it, but... Sometimes it's just hard getting people set up together, but I'd be happy to do a big old co-stream with someone. If 
usually the evening is like it's work for me or mornings, but. Yeah, Logan. You just got to make sure your rotations are right. That's all you got to do. Sometimes it seems like the camera's the right way, but it's not. Sometimes even maybe the better thing to do is if it's always your inside camera, take your outside camera, move it to your inside camera, and then delete your inside camera. Let's get in here first before we... Let's try to be alright with it or no? Should be, I would think. No, maybe not. He is struggling. Well. This isn't going to work out very well for us. We're going to need a bigger tractor. Have you seen the 6070? Uh, no, I haven't. I've asked all about it, but I don't think I've ever seen one. So too bad I wanted to use this tractor, but it just ain't big enough. I was told that somebody has one, Logan, but I don't, I've never seen it. That's at the other farm. Guess we could rake her Ted with this. I'm trying to think if I have any other tractors to use, but we'll just use this one. Seems to be the hay and tractor anyways. Someday maybe I'll work on this tractor. No, I haven't even seen a 6060. I was told there's a 6080, but uh, I haven't seen any of them. To me, in my mind, this is a 6000 series to me, but... I was told that the hoods are all different. Actually, all the hoods are different. If you look at them. Oop, did I hit that thing? I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, let's, uh... Let's roll back around and see if we can make it a little nicer. <laughs> this is so small on this tractor. We should have maybe got the D19. Oh well. I didn't even clean up what I wanted to do, but that's alright. I don't know how many of you guys got to use the Vermeer hay rakes yet, but I really like them. That's why I'll probably end. Well, I guess I got the new Hollands. I do like the Vermeers. I think I'll probably get rid of the new Hollands and get the Vermeers out. So Mr. Simulation, what uh, what map you generally play on? Is there a certain map you like playing on more than another? I kind of been tinkering a little bit off camera. Th I did this morning early. I played with the new Iowa map. Pretty impressive. Pretty nice. Oh, I did learn some things on this map. I have to show them here in a minute. Once I get the side side round done, but. Uh, I learned how to add more ground textures, or uh, paintable ground textures, I should say. To a map, I've kind of been watching some videos. I don't want to say necessarily I'm working on a map, but I almost want to say that I want to work on this map and try to make it better. And then... 
Yeah, I like this map, and I've been, uh, their Mr. Simulation, and I've been making the pens and stuff for this map, which I think I've showed a little bit, so I kind of like this map. I've altered it. I've been in talks with Tyson Dinez, who did this map for 22, or converted it anyways, and about if I would edit it, I'm releasing it, so we'll see. No, no real guarantees there. I'm just kind of tinkering around. This is Midwest Horizon. But I've done a lot of tinkering to this map. I don't know if this guy will be able to turn around on his own. We'll see what he can do. Oh, I didn't set the... I guess we're Tedding. I thought I had to set up the have uh, a worker, but I guess not. Uh, what I did to this map is I added all these. I've added all the ground textures in. So these are your base ones, but now I have more gravel, dirty gravel, pathway, all kinds of things. So I've done that to this map. So like I said, I mean, uh, I've been kind of tinkering with it, learning new things. It's kind of been my dummy map. I like the map, I want to make it better, so. Yeah, I really thought this would go by itself. Um, that I have in game or that I have or in real life. Uh, in game. Uh, I don't know. Probably, probably the way the one looks in game is probably the 7000 series. But in real life, D21 hands down. The D21 in games just doesn't have a lot of detail. Yeah, my first map has a lot of ground textures and custom feet. See, I, I want to, maybe you could help me with that, because I've been wanting, I've watched videos on how to change it, and uh, if you stay for the stream for very long, once I get this done, we'll head over to what I'm going to call Aunt Betty's farm, or whatever, I, I think I called it Aunt Betty. But uh, I've made some custom pens, but I want to, I don't know if you follow me on Facebook or not, but I have uh, been working on a pen or a uh, what I want to call a barn and a feedlot, and I want to make it so you can f put a bin at the end and feed corn and pellet to the cows. Use like a grinder. So I want to get to the point of making custom. Uh, oh, you said custom field type. I want to be able to make custom uh, feed types. I thought you put feed types field type. Yeah, I want to make custom feed types, which I think I can do pretty easy. I just go to like West Bean and get the feed types from there and apply it to this map. It wouldn't take me much, but. I've just kind of not been, I don't want to say not motivated, but I've been less motivated. I need to get the big Alice done, and which is pretty well done. I just need to change them two things, which really would only take me a short amount of time. But I keep tinkering with Blender and building another building and feedlot. An IH farm? Uh, I've been talking about doing an IH farm. I talked about doing almost another series on this with IH, but I kind of been enjoying the blue equipment. The new home combines come out, and so I don't know. I would do an IH. I actually own IH in real life. Oh, 
A problem maybe with IH, well, small IH is there ain't really can come with. Adding custom field and feed types are actually pretty easy, you just go ahead to. Oh, you don't have to change the feed types in the map. I thought you had to change it actually in the map or add them in the map, I thought. Like, I want to make TMR like, yeah. Take a Gale grinder, the Gale 125 grinder, or somebody should make a new one, to be honest with you. And I want you add, like, corn and mineral feed to it, and then becomes, like, corn and pellet. That's what we feed to our cattle in real life. Instead of always having feed so I wish I had a picture that somehow I could put up here, but... Yeah, Logan, it, it's really nothing. I mean, it's a matter of getting a uh, store icon made, new made, and then basically uh, making that exhaust work. That's it. It wouldn't take me very long if I just sit down and do it. Sometimes you just get burned out. Okay, what did it say? It doesn't count towards the map because you're feeding it into into the map. Okay, so you're saying you actually can just change it in the placeable. What I would, what I'm trying to figure out how to do is make a conveyor that is enterable but not movable. That looks like look like a conveyor that you could feed along uh, like a bunk. I really wish I would have just put that building in this map, then you could all see what I'm talking about, but. But we'll head over there. I got it set up with a round bill feeder for now, but. But I'm making another building in Blender, or a feedlot in Blender, I should say. Oh, uh, what map? Hey, there you are, Magnum. It's been a while since you've been on board, been catching a stream. You've been pretty busy. Glad to see ya. Yeah, do you like this thing? It needs work. It needs the dash figured out. Which, I think I, in my mind, got it somehow figured out. But, but more and more I do in Blender, the more and more I realize that I can... Just take it in there and fix it myself. I need to clean this up a little bit right here. We're going to spin back around and clean this up. Yeah, it kind of... Done it with the uh, canopy on top. I'm not a fan of all these trees around here all the time, though. Uh, yeah, the canopy really does numbers to her. Which this is just the canopy off of 210, I think. I think it's just off of... Uh, where's that? Uh, where is the 210? Do I not have the 210 in? I thought I did though, but... Uh, hold on one sec, I'll read what you said. How do you open a tractor in Blender? Uh, it's not necessarily opening, it's exporting and importing. And it's not really necessarily the whole tractor. I mean, you could, but it's piece by piece, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what scooter's working on the D17 very much anymore. Uh, the 7000 is pretty much there. I need to quit being <laughs> selfish and just finish it, because like I said, it's near there 
How do you make a color in Blender? I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean, mean a material in Blender? Because all your colors are pretty much assigned in GE. Or at least mine are. I mean, you can make new textures, but... There's actually a lot of extensive stuff to it. Not sure if all them little parts matter or not, but... I mean, you can make a new base color in Blender. There's an option for it. I hate Blender and GIMP. See, I, I wish I knew GIMP. I had GIMP originally downloaded, and I could never figure out any of the controls, so now I just use Paint.net. But I was told, or I read, I don't know, Mr. Simulation, if you're in, like, FSG's... Uh, Discord, but uh, he was had a thing that YouTube actually like what I want to say dock or or like doesn't promote you as quickly if you don't have your resolutions like 19 by 1920 by 1080 maybe. But the only way I can get the file size small enough is I have to make it 940 by or 960 by 5. The picture that I use for the thumbnail, but they said in GIMP it's very easy to make it still be 1920 by 1080. But I, I, like I said, I don't know how to use any controls in GIMP. If you would make a canopy in Blender, Logan, you would UDIM it, and then when you brought it into GE, you just would assign a color to it. I wouldn't necessarily color it in Blender, but that's how I would do it. So basically you would make it in Blender, um, UDIM it, and then bring it into GE and assign a color and material type to it. And Mr. Simulation, Blender ain't, once you, once you start messing with it, I, I didn't like it at first, but I kind of did some custom stuff. Um, let's see if I can find it. I worked on this truck for a buddy that I played with. And he wanted these decals redone. Actually, these are completely different decals that I made. And uh, I basically just took a different one and uh, kind of pieced it all together in Blender. And if I had that building in here, I kind of just took it apart in Blender and put it all back together how I wanted it. Uh, for my thumbnails for my life, I use photo, photopia? What do you? Huh, I've never heard of that. Is that like a paint.net type uh, application? Hey there, Ethan. How are you? Glad to see you. Uh, UDI you look up some videos for UDIM in FS22. I think like Wade Mitch did a video on it. Uh, but I don't actually know what it does, but all it allows you to do is sign material. Basically like what I want to say, like separates materials out so you can assign a color to them basically. Yeah, I mean, that, you can do that. You can watch some stuff, like Wade Mitch has done stuff. Videos. It's hard for me just to explain how to do it. And really, I can do it enough, but I'm not perfect at it. I'm just dangerous at it. Uh, Mr. Simulate, do you, uh... Do you do YouTube videos on Farm Sim or not? I guess I haven't really. I know I watch a f Simulation Station. I don't know if that's your channel. Or I think it's called Simulation Station. Where's our planner guy at? Is he doing alright? Looks like he is.
It's like Photoshop. See, I've never used Photoshop either. I just use, yeah, I just use Paint.net, but, uh, so every time I have one to make the file size less megabits so I can make it into, I think YouTube restricts you to like a two megabit picture, I think, or uh, whatever it is. You know, I have to resize the canvas down. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Hey, Kyle, how are you? I was going to get this all set up with you. Well, or I could have got a stream set up with you. I'm doing pretty good, Ethan. Uh, pretty good day. Hauled some, piled some manure from the calf barn and... Uh, just did a lot of other little stuff, so... Thought tonight I'd just play around on here for a bit. It's been a while since I've been on the orange farm, which I miss. I miss my orange farm. We'll get this all finished up and see how he can do with the Vermeer rakes. We might go look at Miss Betty's. Okay, yeah, I think... You fell asleep. Uh, I'll have to look you up, Mr. Stimulation, but... I would be more than interested in doing something. I tried the Vermeer Rake out already once, the new one. I like it. I don't know if anyone else... Are you guys all playing with the Vermeer stuff or not? I don't know what I think about the big baler, but... Or the drive baler. I don't know that I'll use it, but... It's cool. Anyways, if you did want to use it. Yeah, I don't know what you used last winter there, Magnum, but you don't want to be out there freezing. Pretty lucky my skid loader's got a full cab on it, so we can push snow with that. And then my dad, he pushes snow with a Massey Ferguson, which got a full cab on it. And if we have to, my big international. I should get a snow blower for it, but uh, it's got a full cab on it. You see the pictures I bought? I don't know what you mean. I see the pictures I bought? I don't know what you, what you mean. Oh, the Vermeer lag for you? This isn't actually part of the pack. This is... Whose is this? Like, is it Lazy E? No. Is it Lazy E's maybe? He was looking for some people to war look at it, but... For this tractor, I'd probably, oh, shoot. I don't know. I wish the tires were just a touch bigger, but that's probably realistic. This is kind of a too big of a tractor for this. Yeah, I have those rakes, which I like, but I think I'm just going to use the Vermeer rake. Park this over here. Let's back it up. There we go. We'll go ahead and buy the Vermeer rake. I like it so much. Where's the Vermeer pack at? Oh, it's up here. Nope, no license plate. Uh, we'll, we'll rake with this. Alright, hold on. Are you going to put out that big case I H? Uh, have I worked on a case I H? Um, trying to think of what case I H. We'll bail with the capped one there in a minute. Uh. Mr. Simulation, I'm trying to think of what big case I H I would have been playing with. I haven't really played with any case. Any idea what the numbers were on it? I 
I love these rakes. This is a pretty neat rake. I love I can bring in the windrow. We'll see what he can do. The field I did before, or I did this field, but then I didn't save it, but. Oh, you're talking about this one. You're talking about this tractor. Yeah, this is the big dog. This ain't the case. Big Alice Chalmers. But, um, I'd have to look to see who it's by. Hey, Nick. Glad to see you. New sub. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we're a little different. Uh, most of the stuff, stuff that I've kind of worked on and modded, but, uh, glad to have you. Uh, I gotta remember how to, there we go. I want a nice tight window. I think we're gonna bail us up for the other farmer. So we'll get this guy going. Yeah, break it out of my driveway there. Okay, Kyle, hold on one second. Did the loader on the 70 work when you got it? This loader? No, it wasn't even in this. I, uh, or it was disabled, I should say. Hold on a second. Let me look here, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, I did see it. That was a cool picture. With the combines and stuff. Uh. Is he going to stop that far back? Holy cow. That's going to be a lot of endros. Is that normal for him to stop that far back? Maybe we'll wait, or we'll wait all the way around once and see what he does then. I don't want him to leave that far away. Oh, this isn't even the good loader. You guys think this is a good loader? This is the better loader. Uh, this would be on. I need to fix. Actually, this is something I do know I need to do. I need to fix the inner hoses because whenever it's on, it actually hits the tractor cab. But. Yeah, Kyle, that picture is pretty neat. We're hitting, we're hitting. Stay out of the fence. There we go. Trying to get every little uh, piece of hay I can get here. Oh my gosh, everything's going quick. Okay, you visible in GE. Yep. Oh, I haven't, Ethan. Uh, I need to really badly. Need to get the cab tractor out real bad. I need to quit hitting the fence. Um, I've just been distracted by just trying to mess with everything. Which is how I usually get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nick. Uh, I played on console for the longest time. And then, uh, I don't know. I finally decided to buy, to, to go to PC, and then I've never regretted it. I mean, I don't know if you got the, if you got a little bit of money and you can get rid of your console or trade it in and get a PC, it would definitely be worth it. You'll never regret it. If this is what you play the most, I should say. But we'll see how he does now. Okay, Kyle. But we'll just see how he does when he gets to this end. If he does good, we'll go drive on down to the other place where we're going to put cattle. I don't know why my thumbnail. Did my thumbnail show up right? Gosh darn it. He's just going to stay so far away.
He didn't do that before. Oh, sorry, Mr. Simulation. We could do a series on this map if you just need to know what mods you have and send. Yeah, we could. Yeah, um, that'd be fine. You know, we could start a start it on this map or even the Iowa map. Like I said, I kind of been tinkering with it. I kind of like it, but it makes me no difference really. We'll get to the sand. We'll, I guess we'll just run up here and get in the old. WD, run it up to the barnyard and head over to the other farm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, don't make me know. This map is plenty big. I mean, I've only really explored this bottom section of this map. Uh... Yeah, like I've only been really down here on this map and on this farm basically, but I mean there's so much more you could get in this area. I think Kyle uh, Scromy here in chat, he plays on this farm right here. So I mean, there's plenty of this map left, but like I said, I know I kind of touched around with the Iowa map. It seems pretty, pretty big and cool. It'd be neat. I don't know if you'd want to run two separate farms or... Heck, we could even get Kyle in. I know he likes to play multiplayer sometimes. We can get, you know, a couple big farms going or all one big farm. Yeah, I don't know. Is that what this is? Is this a 4X map? I, I don't really know what this is considered. I mean, I'm assuming this is bigger than a 1X, but... I think we'll take the... I was going to take the Kubota, but... We might just take the truck. Actually, what I was going to do with Kyle tonight... Uh, we were talking about playing multiplayer. We put, we talk outside of Farm Sim, but... Uh, what I've been thinking about doing is doing like a... Stream or something where... Uh, everybody gets to do like a farm build. I've seen somebody else do this one time. I thought it was pretty neat, like, let's say you get an hour or something, unlimited money, and you get a certain field or area, and build you a farm, build whatever farm you want, and, and uh, I think that'd be a neat challenge, especially doing a stream, like, everybody could kind of build their own stuff. Hey there, Hunter, how are you? Glad to see you, I don't know if I've ever seen you in chat before. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Uh, sorry. Oops, I'm gonna drive on the wrong side. Levi, no, it, I had to add all the uh, commands for it in. I gotta remember how to get there. Uh, we're going right here, yeah. Uh, this is Midwest Horizon by Deniz Farms, right there. Look him up. Uh, just look up Tyson Deniz, and this will come up. Or, you, he's got a bunch of mods and this will come up. I did see where, I don't know how you say his name, Baronkama, or whatever his name is. He got added, like, tractors and stuff in the vehicles, or the uh, traffic. Now, that would be cool. So, we're going to head down this lane here. Now, I know this is going to look way different. I don't know how many of you guys are playing this map, but I've altered this farm a lot because this is the farm I've been tinkering with. But we'll head back here. Thinking about uh, this is where aunt and uncle's place was, but the house got old and they knocked it down guys remember there's supposed to be a house there and uh, they've confronted me about adding some animals back in here so I think what we're gonna do is uh, maybe bring our well I'll have to yeah we get around bailing bring our bales down here and sack them in the shed or this barn here 
What kind of... I got her zoomed in a little bit, but I don't know what everybody plays with. I don't know what POV of what everybody plays with, but... Uh, we'll open this gate. We don't got no cattle in yet, but... So... But right when you made the line... I'm on Discord. This is Logan. This is this farm right here. Right around... Um, you know, when you buy it, it's this. I'm over here, but this is this farm here. So I've been considering buying this farm. Um, we might just start... Well, I guess I'll have to buy it to put animals in, won't I? But we got us a hay feeder here. We got us a... Which I need to move all this stuff. But this is for hogs. I know that looks weird, but... So we may just go ahead and I know I don't have collision. So I've messed with this feedlot in Blender. That's why it's all kind of wonky. And all my things are different, but... I know who he is. I've talked to him on Messenger. Oh, yeah. Hunter, yeah, that's where this map... You can get this map from him, but... So I think what we'll do is we'll put some of our... I don't know how many cows we have. We got 20. Now we're close, but we don't have any extra yet. So we might buy some babies and put down here. Uh, we'll need a trailer, though. Oop, that's the wrong gate. So, well, we can also put cattle out here. So this is, I don't know if a lot of you guys have seen this. I know some have, some haven't. So I've made these for this farm, this map. So this is this, basically. If you play with this map, we'll have a... Uh, a concrete wall right here. That's why it looks like this. But you can place that down and you can add cattle. But then I also have this. Which is this pen. Wrong way though. That you can. Also add cattle to this. If so be it. You can add it in something like this, I think. And then you turn off the blue. And now you can put cattle out here. Which I need to move all the markers and stuff. But. Do I, Mr. Simulation? Yes, I. Uh, I don't have my own, but I'm in some. Di I'm in a lot of discords. So we may put some more pasture cattle out here, or we may put something in this building here. Probably in here for now, or both. I don't know. But we're gonna run home, back home, see how bad they're doing raking hay. We could add all these farms in and farm down here if we wanted. What is mine? Mine is uh, Pleasant View Farm. Are you on, what are you on? Like, are you on Deniz's Discord? Uh, Kedrick's Discord? FSG's Discord? I'm also in the, like, uh, what is it, like, Mods and something Discord. I'm in that. If Kyle's on here, Kyle, Scromy, and I, we have a uh, Discord together. Well, it's his, but I'm always on there. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just thinking he could link the Discord in here. Give me one second. I'm going to park right here and get that Discord. I can get it for you guys. See if I can find it for you.
getting beeped at. But it'll be fine. Alright, let's just do a little bit of this. There you go, Mr. Stimulation. I sent you an invite to that Discord that Kyle and I are in. That's kind of just a few of us. So, sounds like you found me. There you go. You found us. But I'm in there a lot, and now, yeah, you just chat with me. We'll head back down here and see. I don't know what I want to haul bales down there with. A gooseneck? Put a gooseneck on this? Or the automatic bale trailer? I have this pig barn here and I really haven't done much with it. But it works good. I mean, it's got slurry and stuff in it. Got, I think, pigs outside? What's he doing? Get back inside there, little buddy. I've never seen a pig out of this building. Oh well. He's got the day off, I guess. He's allowed to be outside. Yeah, there you go. Sounds good. So, do I want to use a gooseneck or do I want to use the automatic bail wagon? This is 7,000. We'll see how it does. New transmission. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know how that pesky pig got out. Yeah, Hunter, my day's been pretty good. Busy, like always, but good. Got about 300 head of calves in my building, so usually keeps me pretty busy. I don't know if anyone's ever pointed out, but I need to figure out how to get the implements behind the tractor up in the left-hand corner. But What round balers is everybody using? They using the coon or it since the Vermeer come out, is everybody using the soft propelled Vermeer? I'd love to do Mr. Sim. Uh, are you talking about the pig? I don't know, I've never once seen that building mess up like that. Usually it's spot on. But uh, this is where having a couple people would be nice because you have one guy running bales, one guy who I don't have automatic discharge, and that'd be fine. I just want to dump this over here out of the way. Uh, I don't know if I have enough time to set everything up today. Usually I stream till about the time I gotta do something else, so. I'm not sure what all mods, if you wanna use like all in-game mods or 
some specialty mods everybody likes to use. Oh, that came out perfect, didn't it? Perfect. Yeah, I like using the small baler, but... I mean, I really like using the small baler, but... I hate the, uh... I don't have any barns yet set up for them. Okay, I want to make it... Can you turn... Oh, that's in the... That's in this, isn't it? What is that bottom new thing? I've never seen that bottom control. Does anybody know what that bottom control is? I wanted to make it so it automatically unloads the baler. This has a bail counter in it? Hmm. I never set that up. Automatic drop. That's what I wanted to turn on. I've also made the exhaust so it shakes. Hold on, I gotta unload this bale. Yeah, now the exhaust shakes a little bit. All your gauges working. I said I don't have it so the throttle and stuff all works, but someday when I get bored. Oh, I'm zoomed in because I did this. I'm not sure what your FOV is supposed to be. Maybe four. If you set that in, it zooms you in. And I kept forgetting to set it out. Hopefully that's better for everybody. Maybe that's why it's so laggy. Uh, I actually do have a dedicated server through G Portal. We, I did have it all set up uh, on this map. Actually, we played. There was a few of us that played. Then it just seemed like uh, Ed couldn't get, everybody kind of got busy with summer. I would be willing to set it all back up, or I guess it's all set up. I, I would be willing to uh, change some stuff around, I wouldn't say, uh, to make it work. But, you know, I'd be willing to do that. Sometimes I'm, or the, the servers are nicer because you can, People can kind of come and go. I was like running kind of a dairy farm. I, I haven't actually ran dairy farm on this map yet. It's always, so far I've just had beef. But I'd be willing to build a dairy. I built a dairy on Back County Road, I think. So I, I kind of got an idea how I'd want to build it. Hey there, Kyle. You're back. Meat Man, how are you, buddy? Uh, this is Midwest Horizon. And there is quite a few of my own little, uh, what I want to call, alterations to this map. So it may look a little different than if you are playing on Midwest Horizons. Yeah, I'd like to run. I don't want to say I want to run a big dairy. I've actually been thinking in my mind... Uh, Kyle, you've missed a lot. Here, Mr. Simulation, I think, might have been talking about running like a multiplayer, streaming on here a little bit, multiplayer. I think what we all do is set it up and not really build anything and stream building farms. Kyle actually used to 
uh, have videos too out, uh, Mr. Simulation. Before he got busy, he kind of got busy with real life, but, uh, heck, all three guys, we could all stream, but I think it'd be neat we all build our own farms, stream it rather than building them and then start playing. I think it'd be kind of neat, give everybody so much time and maybe, you know, have some people just judge it and see once who's got the best farm, best looking farm. Right now, I don't have enough time right now. I've only got, oh, another half an hour or so. But it'd be a matter of getting what mods. Like, I like using these, uh, which, which would be fine. But I think, like, if I would build one, uh, I want to put, like, something like this. Probably put a dairy barn like this in, maybe? I don't know. I'm not, I'm very undecided if I, if I would put, like, JMF's barn in. Something like that, or... I'd like to make an old school... Old freestyle barn. Well, she's at work, Kyle, so when she gets home, then I'll probably be... Yeah, we, we're supposed to go to an engagement party tonight, so... But, uh... I'm just undecided. I don't know what I'd want to build. A big... Bigger dairy or a smaller dairy? I don't know. I always like running with the smaller mods. Obviously. Okay, I'm gonna rake him in because that's what's driving me nuts. Yeah, I like the Crooked Creek stuff. He does a really nice job. Kind of talked to him. He's building a map, and uh, so I've been trying to build some buildings. I just try to get into everything. Kyle knows that. I just work on everything. I showed your truck off, Kyle. I redid the decals. But yeah, I need to work on the pens some more. Get them all situated. That would be good if we were going to all play a multiplayer on here. You could, we could all... And that would be something maybe we could... Everybody put in what they want. I could kind of build around it. Because... I mean, I got ideas on one farm. That guy is still going back here. Look at him. I don't know who Helper B is. Do I have anybody else going? I don't think so. Oh, I, <laughs> I was kind of in a food coma last night. We went out to eat, and I got home. And But, no, those are cool. Uh, what were they, like a 70-40, Kyle, the ones pulling last night? Or what size tractors were those? Fence, 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 fence. Excuse me. Sneeze there. You're always sending me AC stuff. Everybody kind of sends me AC stuff. I guess I'm kind of the AC man. We went to a big tractor and engine show. Uh, Tuesday? Whatever, I think it was Tuesday. Uh, pretty neat. A lot of stuff. Who doesn't like the open station? I love open station tractors. Until it gets cold, then I like to be inside, but for the most part, I like open stations. Let's say field. Hey, fields take a while, I'll tell you. There's a lot going on with them. Need somebody running rakes and balers and picking them up. And Mr. Simulation, I don't know if you're still there, I ain't seen you. Well, I guess you have come in, but, uh, I see you have a John Deere. Are you more of a John Deere guy? I've kind of got some different John Deere stuff, but, uh, not, I don't want to say necessarily I've been tinkering with. I have tinkered 
a little bit with them, but uh, uh, these ones I kind of been messing with them a little bit, changing tires and stuff. They need to lights changed on the front. These are all the 40 and 50, 55 and 40 or 40 55s in the 40 50 series. But, yeah, you're a John Deere guy, which is fine. I'm not a, oh, I have this chopper too. Pretty cool. Converted it. Oh, I didn't convert it. Uh, Sam did. I'm surprised I ain't seen Sam. Sam usually watches. Uh, I got nothing against John Deere, though. I grew up on 4020. That's what my dad had growing up. Uh, brother and I were kind of the ones that kind of went red. I've got an international 1086, or 1486, rather. And my brother had a 1086. And then he actually has a little Massey now, a new Massey, so... We kind of gotten into the reds, but green's kind of what I grew up most mostly up with. Man, I got this all butchered up. Uh, do I have any lawnmower stuff? I wish I did, but I don't. I keep thinking about putting a lawnmower in to mow my grass, but I just never think about it. Um, Magnum, which I don't, I don't know if he's still in here or not, but he had uh, a little Alice Chalmers mower he sent to me. He did sounds, but I don't know if I ever... Is it still in here? No. Uh, what was you looking for? Oh, that chopper? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I need to adjust the heads on it. It's not... The toucher joint for the heads isn't set right, but I can't get it to move either. Oh, and Logan, yeah, he has the... Uh, everybody likes to just look at the mods here. Uh, his is, yeah, he's got all of it. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a blade. Yeah, there's a 1486 here. Everybody likes to see my mods folder. It's pretty full. We're going to call that good enough with the rake. Uh, I've actually thought about it, but I don't think you'd be doing much blading with a uh, two-wheel drive tractor. This guy's got to be getting close. Isn't he? He's getting there. He's getting there. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention when I was reading chats. Oh, God. Let me back up. Go back, you round bell. There we go. I like the automatic discharge, I just gotta remember to stop. Snow? Oh, yeah. I could just add the Degelman mounts to it, but... I'm not sure what I'll do yet. My guess is probably no blade option, but... I mean, there has a loader option. <laughs> More than two and a half. Yeah, I didn't realize that that kept count. Let's open that up. Six bales, I guess? I didn't realize I had... Is that just a thing that's built in? Because I don't have any type of, like, bale add-on or anything. 
Is that just in game now? Does anybody know? Who does a lot of bailing? Oh, come on. Load yourself. There you go. Sunny Farms. What kind of bailer do they have? I've seen a lot of bailers, so maybe just jog my memory of what they have. I, I've never watched Sunny Farms. This tractor, this tractor is only on PC. Would it come to console if somebody more advanced than me had it, maybe? I mean, I could probably get it close, but I don't think I could get it there. Is that what it is, jo Jonas, or Jonas? Uh, the Vermeer, okay, I, I'm not sure. I've never seen it before. Oh, I'm not saying I'd dislike it, I just never leave my menu on, so I never see it, but fine with me. I haven't really used the new, I guess I'm kind of partial to using the orange one, but does the Vermeer round baler work pretty good? You'll be <laughs> Yeah, we'll get her all set up, Kyle. Don't worry. Do you have any, uh, I don't know, Mr. Simulation, if you do any modding yourself or not, but I don't know if you have anything off the ordinary when it comes to equipment. I mean, I have a whole mods folder full of stuff that's not really out or available to other people, but only maps. I guess you got a map you want to play on that you've worked with, but I said I guess I kind of been working with this map a little bit. I like uh, with oh Crooked Creeks uh, making some new Wisconsin maps. Looks like they're gonna be probably pretty good. He does a pretty darn good job. Okay, I'll have to take a look at it. I don't have two screens or anything, which is you think is just crazy since I mod and stuff. I just switch screens a lot, but uh, so I can't really look at anything else. I look at my chat through my phone, so. I'll give it a look uh, later on. Do you currently play multiplayer with anybody else? <laughs> yeah, five screens. I'm so jealous. Uh, Scooter's Workbench, I work with him, or I should say he actually works with me because I don't really help him with anything, but yeah, he's got like two computers and stuff. I'm so jealous. I, I play play and mod on my TV in my living room with my computer, so I don't really have the availability of other screens and whatnot. My computer's capable, it's a big, brand new computer, but I've only had it like, what, maybe eight, nine months? Kyle, you're a super trucker. You are, I've seen your Snapchat, uh, you driving semi. Big old trucker. I've kind of wanted to play with other people and just kind of, like I think, I don't know, we used to play, well we played the, what was that Canadian map? We played on that Canadian map at one time. Um, I forget what it was called, but we played multiplayer on that a little bit. Before Kyle went and became Super Trucker.
Or it was like clear water or something, or edge water or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, we just played on that Canadian map. It it come out. That was probably what two months ago or so. But I've seen that that BC Bueller's been working on it, which he does some amazing stuff. Seems like he pushes everything to console too. He'd be a guy. Yeah, I don't know how much he knows about tractors, but he would definitely be a guy that can get things to console. Uh, this is, Jennifer, this is Midwest Horizons, and this is by, uh, I'll show you, this is by Deniz Farms, you can find him, I'll show you the, uh, right here, check out my Facebook page, Deniz Farms, or if you just type in Tyson Deniz, there's his last name, that'll come up, but, uh, this is, uh, where's 66, one of these roads is 66, and um, it's actually not too far from where I actually live. We'll get back to bailing here. We got a lot of leftover hay. This is a 7,000, so this is good. Uh, kind of adjusted the horsepower on this thing. Glad to see it can pull this trailer, though. Yeah, Edgewater. That's what it is. Yeah, Edgewater. There's going to be a lot of bales out here. I'm probably going to just use the bale picker upper. So I don't have the patience to not. Edgewater. Yeah, did you see Kyle? They redid it. I, I don't remember if they made it a bigger map, but I could be wrong, but they definitely reworked it, added some farms and barnyards and stuff like that, so that'd be interesting giving it a try. It was pretty neat that we played on it, and then the guy who uh, made it, actually, was in chat. I also think Iowa. Kyle, have you played on the new Iowa map? Uh, pretty, pretty neat. I haven't played too much on it, but I did a little bit. We could switch over that here in a little bit. Uh, Kyle might not have. Kyle, well, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It could just be me and you. If Kyle would want to play, he could. I don't know if he has the Kubota pack or not. The Kubota pack is like all this. Uh, all this stuff. This is all in the Kubota pack. Oh, this actually might be the... Where did I get this? I thought that was in there. Am I wrong? H-I-J-K, Kubota. Where did I get that round baler? Is that a mod or is that an actual... I'm confused. Coon. Or is this a c Oh, this is a Coon. Why do I keep thinking this is a Kubota? This is a Coon. I don't have the Kubota equipment. Yeah, I don't have the Kubota equipment stuff. I kept looking at getting that and I forgot, yeah. yeah this is a Coon, not a Kubota. <laughs> I can't believe I kept calling it a Kubota. Uh, who made the Iowa map? I'm not sure. These pesky deers. Um, let me look real quick. I'll be able to tell you one second. If I can find it in my mods folder. Iowa Plains. Iowa Plains is what it's called. And it's by, oh, I actually, oh, Loki? It's actually on the in-game mod hub, so 
You don't have to go search around Facebook or nothing. Just go into the in-game mod hub and it's on there. It's called Iowa Plains Valley, I think. Is what I'll tell you what. We'll, uh, why don't we just switch over to that? I think I can do that, right? Because this just follows my game. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Odds in with the Kubotas. That is right. All right, let's let's go to yeah. If you go to downloadable, uh, right here, it's the third map. Uh, it's right there. So if you go into maps on the in-game mod hub. It's third map. Oh, <laughs> I picked the wrong one. Oh, what a big dummy I am. Yeah, we'll back out. <laughs> I can't believe I picked the wrong one. Right here, Iowa Plains. So I set this up a little bit. I just was kind of tinkering around with it. I wanted to try out the, uh, the new Holland Combines. So I got two of those, and then I was kind of bailing. If you follow me at all, you kind of seen maybe some screenshots I had of them. I know, I'm a big old dummy. I get too click happy. You can ask Scooter when we start mod, he helped me out. Oh, he'll be like, no, stop. And I'll be clicking on, scrolling on. Oh, gosh, sorry. So this is Iowa. So I have my two small tractor on these wagons. And I have my two New Holland Combines and my 8300 over here on my grain cart and my two, which they are all jacked up. Must be too low, which is fine. Oh, and then I had this. I was trying these chisels out. Anybody tried these chisels by a rooster? Pretty neat. So this is actually the tractor owned in real life, 1486. Like this. We'll back him up here out of the way, but. I was kind of messing with these chisels. If you have not played with these chisels, they're pretty sweet. Especially since they're in the in-game mod hub. But I wanted to see how much horsepower it took to pull that. This is the bigger chisel plow. But so here's the 4250. I need to finish the rims on it. Because they're not set right. But I switched the tires out. But this is actually, you put a loader on this as I grew up on a 4250 kind of. But this map, let's just fly around this map a little bit. I know I'm all over the place, but... Oh, fly around, fly. It's got some custom buildings that I absolutely love. I do want to be able to use your animal pins. The ones that I made? Yeah. Uh, so this is like that one building that you've seen all over the place. But they... They did something sweet to it. They uh, made it. They put a feed bunk in here, and you put cows in here. It's got waters back here, but uh, you can add. I was gonna put cows in here anyway, so let's just put 60 small ones. Yeah, let's just put 60 small ones in there. But uh, yeah, they got this big pasture here. This is cool. It's awesome. And so this is where you start. You actually start like in the corner. Start on this farm here, which is a big grain lake, which is too big for me. I'd probably uh, get rid of it. But they have this hog barn here, which is just freaking awesome. I mean, it's an awesome hog barn. I probably would have, I mean, I'm not trying to criticize. I probably would have took that pipe and put it underneath all these bins, which would have been very, very realistic because that's how it would be. But uh, I don't know if you can go in this door. I haven't walked around this map too much. I watched somebody else live stream it and then I was intrigued but you can put hogs in here and this is the coolest hog barn it's realistic it's got the drop-down nipple waters and everything 
But uh, so you start in this corner. Like I said, I haven't been all over this map, but there's a town over here. Um, which I don't know what this town's called. American Water? But it's wide open. Big fields, square fields. I like. This is a little town. That's where you start over there. Pond. Maybe another farm here. Maybe. Maybe that's what this is. Or maybe not. Maybe this is a grain elevator. Let's see what this says here. Five building water. Oh, this must be production. Production place. There's a production place. Here's a grain grain mill. Which is kind of neat because he like adds all this stuff which doesn't do anything. It's out of the map but uh, it's still in there so it makes it look nice. But the edge of the field map all looks nice. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is like a log place? I don't know how to interact with that. Yeah, I'm gonna guess this is where you take your logs. You wanna do some logging, but yeah, I don't know. This is a this is a cool map. I kind of like it. It's big though. I mean, I'd have to have like 13 gleaner combines out here. That's kind of why I started up here. But <laughs> all these fields are massive. Yeah, I was just kind of messing around, but the neat thing about this map is, let's drop down. If you go into construction mode, you can sell everything. That can be sold. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. We just won't save. But you can sell all this stuff. Start all the way over. You can sell it all, and then you can place it all back down. Because all these buildings are in here. I mean, I have additional buildings, but all the buildings that are in this map are in here. Like these little sheds and stuff. So, it's just neat. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Like this sh animal shed here is... Uh, right here, you can place it down. But that, that's just, to me, that's neat. And then... I think it's got, oh yeah, it's got a whole bunch of different gravels and cobblestones and stuff, so. It's just got a lot of neat stuff. Here's my little 7210. Yeah, 7210. I, 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 I do play with Mr. Simulation. I do play with some John Deere. I, I'm not against them. Uh, I painted this blue for uh, that other map I was just on, Back County Road. Yeah, if you guys haven't got these, use these chisels. They're pretty sweet. They got some really cool animation. Let's just give her a little rip. I mean, the detail on them is friggin' awesome. They work good with them internationals too, so. So, well, uh, I guess I've kind of showed you around this whole map, and we've done what I wanted to do so far on Midwest Horizon, so I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and call that that for today, and I appreciate everybody for stopping in. Mr. Simulation, I'll be definitely be in touch with you. We'll try to set something up, and uh, appreciate you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.